Yoo-hoo! Now I did this little foam owl kit. And there were some things I want to change, such as cutting these little nubs off here and making it a little more biblically accurate. So I got another one of these kits, and now I'm going to fix it up. Here's the other. Okay, here's the other kit. Now I'm just going to throw it open. Mainly because I don't go through. Yeah, did a good job on that one. All right, so let's just get everything but the body and the pumpkin out of the way. Actually, let's just say the pumpkin. Evidently, I clipped off the little niblets first. And use my sharp little scissors here and cut them off really close to my finger. Actually, I was going to use a hobby knife for this, but I decided the little scissors worked just as well. I did. I just left the little indentation, so I'm get rid of the little niblets here. And instead of a hobby knife, I decided to try sanding it. Kind of like the look it gave it, though. Peel this off. And I started out trying to use my tacky glue, but... Considering I've had this bottle for three years, it's getting a little low and it's all hard to get out. Alright, so I just used tacky glue instead of the hot glue. And now the belly. Here's where I had problems. Okay, so I switched over to another bottle of glue. I'm just going to glue everything off screen. See, belly sits a lot flusher now. And do I want the eyes there? No, let's do the wings first. Okay, see, that's why I left the little indentations for the wings. Makes them easier to set. And glue those off screen. There we go. Now the eyes. Notice they fit fine right now. Wait until I glue them. And yeah, they went a little wonky there, didn't they? Oh well. Did on the other one too. So now I'm going to give those a little sanding, everything a little light sanding, because I'm going to be gluing stuff to all of them. There we go. Now for the eyeballs. Glue. And stick off. Second one, glue, and stick on. And for the feet, there we go, glue, and the beak, glue. Now, that's done for the biblically accurate, oh no, I forgot the leaves. Alright, set them there. And glue them on. There's one. I was actually going to put them over both ears, but because the eyes were on so wonky, I couldn't do that. Now, for the really accurate part, I'm going to have more eyes. I've got these old googly eyes I've had for years. And decide where I want to put them, and I'm going to just place them and glue them off camera because I glued them on in the most in the butt way I could, which was pick each one up with my fingers, put a little dab of glue on it, and set it back down. It would have been so much easier if I got my wax pencil and done them like rhinestones. It's okay. They're glued on, and I did do a couple more because I decided I wanted them above the eyes. Or the wings needed a couple more and above the eyes. See, I held them like that, did a little dot of glue on them, and then stuck them on. That's why I meant biblically accurate, because in the Bible, angels are covered in eyes. So I thought, why not do it on an owl? Should have done another. Now for the pumpkin, I'm going to do some rhinestones. I got some old silver rhinestones here. And I got a little thing of glue. And a wax pencil, and I'll just pick them up, dip them in the glue, and place them on. I started out, was going to just put them on the orange part, and then end up putting them on the more lines, too. It's all right. It's sparkly. I did lose one rhinestone in that glue, though. I also found out it helps to give them a little twist. It gets it off the pencil. There 
And there's the rhinestone I lost. Just pick place, pick blue place. By the way, this seems to be work. The glue seems to be working just fine. Sand them. They're all staying on. All right, I'm done.